Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to celebrate the union of John and Elise. What is this day if not for everyone here? The love, what we all feel for one another, for these two, as we look at them up here today. They do the little things together. They talk to each other. They spend time together. But more, most importantly, they love each other. You can feel the passion that they have for each other. I can't stand up here and tell anyone what a marriage should be or what love is. But I can tell you, however you want to define it, you can't do anything but look at these two and know that that's what love is. That's what a partnership is. That's what a marriage is. During our first date, we spoke about our shared affinity of sushi and Marvel movies. John, I knew that night that I loved you. I knew that night I could envision sharing a future with you. Two years later, I read these vows to you in front of our friends and family to let you know that I'm never going to give you up. I'm never gonna let you down. <laughs> I'm never gonna run around and desert you. <laughs> I'm never gonna make you cry. I'm never gonna say goodbye. I'm never gonna tell a lie and hurt you. I love you. <laughs> Two years ago, I met Elise Gergridge. I fell in love with her immediately. Some of the most important special memories I've had with Elise on our journey to this moment is our travels together moments that could only be deemed life partner worthy. I can't wait to travel the rest of the world with you, making memories and building this relationship together. It's the little things Elise does that warms my heart. This girl is loving, thoughtful, beautiful, and cares more about me than I even care about myself. Elise and I promise to give you all that you've given me. I promise to be the man that you need me to be. I promise to never hurt you. I vow to always love you. I vow to stand by you through thick and thin, and I vow to make you chicken fried rice twice a week. <laughs> Elise has always been caring, giving, a loving individual, and honestly, she's always been my rock. Enter John Fletcher. What first impressed me about this dude, he looked me in the eye and shook my hand. He's caring, giving, loving. He's been nothing but a rock for her and I can't be more proud of having these two in a union together. I love you guys. You know, I think every parent has expectations of what's gonna happen with their kids when they grow up. I had an expectation, you know, that she would meet a guy. My expectation was that she would make a good choice, but then I got to know John something happened which I wasn't expecting it exceeded my expectations I actually like the guy then I actually became and consider myself to be his friend these two are off to a good start the two families are glued together wonderfully and there's nothing but good things ahead of you so thank you so much by the power vested in me by the Universal Life Church and the state of Texas I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> <laughs>